Yeah, hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial for marmoworld.com. My name is Matthias and today I show you some great workflow tips, how to speed up your work, how to automate stuff. And the thing I here want to uh, automate is to automate the creation of Christmas cards. So you can see I've spent here a lot of time creating this design here for my Christmas card. I mean, I wanted it to be slick and minimal and it took quite some time and now I don't really want to spend the same amount of time again to customize this design to all the people that I want to send my animated Christmas cards to. And so I thought instead I use an automated method using comps from spreadsheets. And this is a great script that is not from Amo World, uh, but also available on AE scripts. So here you can see this is a tool and here you can uh, use the try button to download it from a scripts and once you've installed it, it looks like this here. And with this tool, what you can do is you can create many copies of a composition um, and replace elements in it. And what I want to replace here is this text and uh, you do it with the help of spreadsheets. So I have my open office spreadsheet application here. So you can really use it with any kind of spreadsheet application like Excel or here I have the free open office calc. And I created with this, uh, this uh, table here with three columns, comp. This is a composition that I want to use in my After Effects project. And then name, these are the people that I want to send uh, my greeting card to. Uh, and then I have some text that I want to uh, have for these specific people. Yeah, like here, dear mom, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And this Burr thing here is like a line break that I want to have in the final text. And then here I have Dear Peter, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And don't forget to bring me back the chainsaw that I borrowed you three months ago. And so you can really customize this text for anybody that you want to uh, send this uh, your greeting cards to. And then you can save it as a CSV file, comma separated file. And when you export it, just make sure that you use a tab delimiters uh, for separating the different elements, but this is something you find in more detail at the description of comps from spreadsheets. So now I have this file and save it and I go back to After Effects. And if we compare it again, the only thing that we need to explain this tool now is which are the elements in your composition that you want to replace. And I want to replace this text here, Dear Mom, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, with the text from the spreadsheet. So with the text that is here in the column with label text. So therefore I go to um, here and replace just the name of this with this weird symbol and then text, which means take this from the table from the column text. And that's essentially it. And then remember to make, uh, to name your composition. I named it here Christmas template and um, if you compare it here, we have here this column comp, and this also says Christmas template. So it's like for all these people use the composition Christmas template. You can even vary this, like using for different people different comps, um, but we keep it simple here. And now all you need to do is to run comps from spreadsheets with this button here, run comps from spreadsheets. Uh, it asks for the file. Here's my Christmas spreadsheet CSV file. Okay. Um, and now it has already figured out that the composition I should use is in the comp row, uh, comp column of the table. The text is in the text column. All of this can be kept by default. And now for each instance I create, I must decide how are they named. I don't just want the compositions to be numbered, but I want each composition to contain the name of the respective person. So in other words, uh, the comp I create for uh, let's say dad should should be named like this dad. Yeah, take the name column of my table for naming the composition. Okay, after this I click OK and it asks me, do you want to create a copy of your project? I say no. And now I have nice duplicates of my composition. So here was my original template. And now I have here my duplicates for Amy, dad, mom, Peter and Tom. And if you look here, Amy, now the text is replaced by Dear Amy, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And for Dad, it's Dear Dad, Merry Christmas. And remember for Peter, we had this long text. Dear Peter, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to bring back the chainsaw and so on and so on. The problem is you can see this is not nicely centered. And of course you can do it manually. 
like go into the align tool and say I want this to be centered like this, but we want to automate this. And this is where I expressions comes into play. So if you have these automatic setups where you create many duplicates of a composition automatically, you also want sometimes to horizontally center the content of it automatically. And let me delete all these copies again here and go back to our original, original template. And now let's automate it that this text centers no matter what you enter to it. And for this we have the I expression vertical align text that you find in your I expressions library. So if you go here to the library in the source text bundle, you have the text modifier and here we have the vertical align text. And what it does, it no matter how um, many lines your text has, it extends it to the number of lines that you have here by inserting empty lines. So um, to make you to make clear what is happening, temporarily I replace here empty line contents by something like X. And if I now apply, you can see better what is happening. Yeah, the text is replaced by a text with 10 lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the empty lines have this X here. Yeah? In the final result I want to delete this here, apply it again and um, obviously I need to select the source text and apply it again. And now you can see it looks like the original text but actually it's much larger because it has empty lines at the top and at the bottom. And uh, li let me leave this X here actually for a moment and reapply it. And I can tell you, uh, or I can explain you what's it what, uh, what it does. So let's say I just have here one line. I change my text to contain just one line, like this. And now you can see the dear mum is uh, roughly centered here. Yeah, Fr from the ten lines, it is uh, the one, two, three, four, fifth line. Yeah, from ten lines, obviously you cannot set it exactly in the middle, but it's as close to the middle as possible because the alignment here is set to center higher. If I set it to center lower, it is set here, yeah, to this. So when in doubt, choose the lower one is this one. Then you can say always put it at the top, like this. Now dear mom is at the top or at the bottom. Now dear mom is also at the bottom. And if I change this now to have and here some more lines, for example, and apply this. You can see it's still at the bottom, yeah, because now it inserted just uh, seven new lines at the beginning to have three left for here. And in total, it will always be nine, uh, ten lines here, for example. And I think ten are a bit much, as you can see here. We we, we don't have any text in our spreadsheet with uh, ten lines. This is so too close to the bottom. So let's just say we want nine lines. Apply like this. And now we don't want it to be at the bottom, but we want it center and in doubt, when in doubt, put it at the higher level. Now it is, uh, this is like the placeholder for any text that we are um, going to replace it by later. And now I hide this X again because we are now finished with preparing this stuff. Yeah, it's nicely centered. I remove it and select my source text, click apply. And now we have our dear mom and dad uh, text here or the mom text and if I replace it by a single line and bam it's automatically centered and if I have here quite a lot of lines uh, like this they are also automatically centered. Yeah, this is the main idea automatically center your text no matter how you replace it and now I want to replace it again automatically with comps from spreadsheets. So I say run comps from spreadsheet, choose my CSV file. Okay, uh, here I leave everything as the default except that I want my comps to be named according to the name from the spreadsheet. And it asks me, do you want to create a copy? And I say no. I want it to have, in this, have it in this project. And now I have here my comps from spreadsheet copies. And dear Amy, nicely centered. And then here's a long dear Peter, also automatically centered. So in case you have any such mechanisms, not necessarily based on comps from spreadsheet, but whatever you want uh, to automatically create many instances of your scene or think about you have like uh, some news teaser that you want to update each week and each week you don't want to manually run the 
the centering, but you want to have it automatic, just replace the text and it gets automatically centered. These are the situations where this eye expression to vertically align the text makes a lot of sense. Okay, this was my quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to see you again in the next tutorial.